I've been asked a couple of questions about um, some of the questions where there's more than one year involved, and also there are fractions in the percentages, and it's like, well, what do I do with these, okay? So if you've got your calculator there, I'm gonna answer, I'll answer the second question first because it's a bit more straightforward, and then I'm actually gonna do one of the questions that will show you what's going on when there's more than one year involved, okay? So if you've got your calculator there, just get it out. Um, one of the questions I believe, it has the fraction, or rather it has the percentage, six and two thirds percent. Have you guys done that question? You seen that? So when you're dealing with six and two thirds, percent, you sort of encounter a bit of a problem using your calculator. So I'm going to show you how to do this properly. To explain first, and this is what I was mentioning to Akhil a second ago, if I gave you something like this, 5x, right? so this is like classic algebra, we've seen this hundreds of times before. There's no operation between 5 and x, yeah? So what operation is implied? It's multiplication, right? We mean 5 lots of x, 5 times x. So therefore, if you go to your calculator and you type in something like this, 6 fraction 2 thirds, right? What your, that's not very helpful, what your calculator is actually seeing is not 6 and 2 thirds as a mixed numeral. It's seeing this. It's seeing two numbers next to each other, so it thinks you mean 6 times 2 thirds, which is not actually what we want. Okay. So therefore you're going to have to use, on top of this button, if you go shift, fraction, it hands you a mixed numeral right away. Okay. So I think, what was it, 300 liters or something like that is what they're asking you in that question. So I could do this in two steps, like I did earlier. This is going to give me, if I hit equals on this, right? this is going to give me the change. This is going to give me the increase, and it's going to calculate it properly as a mixed numeral rather than getting confused and thinking there's multiplication. But of course, I could do it all in one step rather than doing change and then add it together. How would I change this line to give me the answer in one hit? Put it 106. Yeah, so I want the 6 and 2 thirds percent and the 100 percent at the same time. So what I'm going to increase in there is put the 100 in, okay? So once you've done that, this is that formula we developed before, you hit equals and out pops your answer, okay? So just watch for that when you've got mixed numerals because mixed numerals are a bit funny and that's why it's got its own button. All right, let me clear that back. Could you all have a look at question 10 now? This is not a question for you. Uh, this is not a question I have signed, so I'm gonna ask you to turn there now. You might not be up to it, that's okay. That's kind of why I'm gonna show you. So question 10 is the one we're looking at. Can you raise your hand if you have question 10 in view? Hands up straight. I'm still waiting for a few. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hands down. So this question has lots of parts and you need to have it in front of you so you can watch what's going on. I don't think I'll need two parts. Okay, let's have a look. So you can see um, they're giving you an amount of money that you start off with. Whoops, I've lost the page. Uh, I think it's $2,400. Is that what they're giving you? Yeah. Okay. And then year to year, different things happen to this amount of money. So here's the first question. If in the first year, it increases by 15%, what do you have at the end of that first year? Okay. So can we work this out? You can tell me what working to put down, right? After the first year. Right, what do I get? Yep, 115%. So there's that original 100, and the 15 comes along for the right. Can someone give me a number? 2,760. Thank you. Okay, so then what happens is, in the subsequent year following this, the same thing doesn't happen. Like, I don't know, the share market's doing better or worse, whatever. Actually, is it doing, it's doing worse, okay? So it still increases, but not as much, okay? So when we look at part B, after the second year, I think the percentage is 8%, 8% yeah. increase, okay? But importantly, the second year starts from the end of the first year, right? So I'm not gonna say 2,400. I'm gonna say 2,760. That's my new start point, okay? So I'm going to say 2,760 multiplied by what? 108%. Um, 108%, percent. good. So there's the 100 so and the extra percentage. It yes. Says it's increased in value by a further 8%. Yeah, very good. So that's my further 8% further to the amount that I had at the end of the first year. Does that make sense? 
So I think what they mean by, you might be thinking of further as in like, oh, 50% and 23%. But I think what they mean is further in time. That's right. The first year was 15%, and then the second year was 8 Okay. Uh, someone got a number? Yeah. No, well, you got a question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's not about this particular question. Can you Can let me finish yes. first? And then, yeah, okay, come back. Does someone have a number? 2980.8. Excellent. And this is dollars, so I'm going to write eight. eight. Perfect. Okay. Then they want us to think about what happens over the course of these whole two years, and what happens if I want to go in reverse? Here's what I mean. The actual total change by the end of the 24 months, total change, is going to be where you ended compared to where you started. Yeah, does that make sense? So this is my final number here, 29.80.80, and what am I going to subtract? Yeah, right there at the beginning, right? So I subtract that, and then this gives me an amount. $580.80. Thank you. 